what is everybody welcome to today's youtube video it's been a while since um i've had these actually these came out mm, i don't even know how long ago right now but i was under the weather of course like always so i barely am starting to feel decent enough where i said oh let me unbox these and make a video um so you've probably already seen the video on these but um i just wanted to kind of give my opinion on these this is the Killing Mbappe, of course, special edition Superfly. Um, this is the colorway of LT Laser Orange Armory Navy. In my usual size of a 10.5. Camera doesn't want to focus, but that's okay. Anyways, they're there. 10.5, I promise. Let's open it up. Ooh, these are nice first time i'm seeing these in person of course um nothing different as far as um tech specs from previous the previous or the original launch way colorway um so if you haven't watched my video previously on that go ahead and look back it's mostly just about the color personal color for mbappe um i really like this colorway i like how the swoosh is like kind of iridescent um i funny enough vinicius jr is getting his own um mercurio colorway coming out i probably don't think i'll get those even for a video review because then i probably want to keep them and i already have too much i'm really trying to limit um the number of boots that i keep um just for my own sake like i have a whole bunch that i'm still trying to wear and just haven't worn yet um but this one was just kind of cool colorway um for those who worry this is probably gonna get dirty and stay dirty my um blue ones of the vapor um are dirty and hard to keep clean but anyway in there of course is the km and it shows as well i don't know if you can see that um but yeah so definitely not a boot if you are worried about keeping it clean the new vapor new superfly not a boot for you and this does come in the vapor and uh lower models as well takedown models um i just thought it was a cool cool looking boot um he wore them during his presentation in real madrid and then he wasn't wearing them and he switched to the regular launch colorway for a little bit um and now he's back to wearing them um, cool enough, the orange here kind of matches the Real Madrid uniform, this that they're wearing this season. Here is the other one, of course. Um, so he, I did notice that it does have his initials right here, KM, um, kind of incorporated a little bit with the air. Um, and yeah, um, let's take out the bag just to show you guys that real quick. And then I want to talk a little bit about actual boot itself. So this is kind of cool colorway here. Swoosh. The KM initials. Um, and yeah. Talk about the good stuff. My experience now having played in the Vapor and the Superfly now for about a month, a little over a month. Um very very barefoot feel if that is something that you like this is definitely the boot for you very light um i mean this is i i almost want to say that it's the best feeling mercurial that has that i have ever worn and i've been wearing them since the three um it, it it's just I, I can't describe it. It just feels great. Better than the GX. I know this is the same material as the Phantom GX. Um, but this this is I mean, I was kicking a ball that was probably inflated to the the right amount of PSI. That's another thing. If you haven't played with the ball that is the right PSI, which probably a lot of people haven't, I never did until recently when I actually got um the the PSI um thing for my ball. Um I never play with the ball so inflated you know it's, it's very hard so definitely when i was kicking the ball with the with the vapor it hurt it hurt so 
it, it is a really barefoot feel and these are basically fit every everybody's foot type no matter what if you have a wide foot i know people who have a wide foot and are loving them and yeah it's just a very very great boot i don't know what nike's gonna do to improve on this and i wonder i mean i i could probably do without the air zoom to be honest because it it almost makes it makes the boot feel a little stiff it's definitely better than the previous uh, model but still i mean i could probably do without the air zoom because i mean i don't know i just don't think you need it in a football cleat or a football boot um but this is my opinion maybe some people like it i mean it doesn't get me wrong it doesn't feel bad in any way that's just what could do without it you know what i'm saying i, w I wish they could make um maybe that's what they should do if you listen to nike do the vapor without the air zoom unit and do the superfly with the air zoom unit or vice versa whatever you feel i mean because essentially the superfly was a premium product in previous generations it was different from the vapor i know you've heard me say that before and you probably heard it in other places um but people actually could choose and and what they liked if they wanted a vapor it was going to be more of a um synthetic leather feeling type boot and then the superfly which was a flying it which is what we're at right now um and i mean maybe i'll tell you what and i'm a stockholder obviously i work for nike until their i guess i don't want to say wallet but until their money gets affected they will not make a change so as long as we keep buying this product they're not gonna listen to us um i mean I'm, there's probably old heads who started who grew up on the vapor and the superfly that probably want the same thing maybe the new generations aren't familiar with that or didn't get to try um previous models that were different but i mean that's the way if we want that you know probably gotta take a stand and not buy their products for a little bit um i know i'm rambling a little bit but with sneakers it seemed like they fell a drop off of people buying from Jordan and now they're just releasing like all these great retros that everybody wants. So it's like definitely when their sales go down, they will give us what we want. Um, but I don't see that happen, obviously, because these are just really nice and really good. But if you're listening to Nike, maybe have the Superfly have the air zoom and the vapor not. I don't know. Maybe that'll persuade some people to go a different way and you're actually paying for a premium price to get more product and not just this collar around here extra material my opinion but anyways really great boots if you haven't tried them try them um you can also my tip is don't buy right away i buy just to make the review and because i get a good discount i'm being honest but if you wait a little bit just wait like a few months until they release like a third color because they're always released too when they release the third or fourth colorway, probably you'll find previous models um, on sale. And a lot of people, I was reading comments on different videos, because I do still watch other people's reviews, even though my opinion for myself is what matters. And people were saying off eBay, I haven't never tried to buy on eBay, but they say that you can get discounted, you know, elite boots, not just Nike, uh, for, um, on sale so i don't know if you want to try that but definitely i would just wait wait and these are definitely worth upgrade if you have the 15 or the 9 superfly definitely definitely upgrade to these and you're gonna love them the only problem i would think nowadays is if you want the fg soul plate or the ag i have yet to try the ag but i'm itching to do it but i'm just like I really don't have a reason to although i could practice on ag and here about the winter time we don't when we play there's really no grass so i could get away with an ag um soul plate because it's basically just dirt but i'm gonna wait like i said until things drop in price and then i can pick something up but for now it's fg for me um so yeah that would be my only thing um, and the pro version, a lot of people are saying reminds them of older um, Superflies like the 4 and stuff like that. So, again, 
I could try the pro in the AG version. That kind of knocks out two things, two birds with one stone. I could just save my money. There's a lot of things I could do. Um, but yeah, have you tried the new Superfly or the new Vapor? Um, do you like this colorway? Are you a fan of the other colorways that have released? Um, are you going to be copping them? Are you going to pick them up? Are you going to play in them? Uh, yeah, these are questions that I would like you guys to let me know how you feel about them. Or you're just waiting. Maybe, maybe you really like a previous model. Any other model that you like. Um, drop a comment down below, of course. And if you're new here, subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.